you clicked on this video, thank you. My name is Tony. Uh, this is your first time seeing me because this is my first video talking to a camera. This is now my third attempt. I've recorded three different times an introduction to this video and every time I've gone around to the back to check the video and it cuts off early for some reason so I'm gonna have to get that figured out. So I'm not gonna waste any time on this introduction um, and I'll try to get to right to the video. So I took a point of view in my city downtown. I took a couple photos. Um, if you like it, shoot me a comment. Give me some video ideas. I'm a photographer. I like taking pictures. I've been taking pictures for a couple years. Um, if you're familiar with like North Borders, Seventh Era, uh, Hayden Pedersen, those kind of guys, I I'm, hope to make some, some content like theirs and reach a similar target audience. Um, so yeah. Uh, here's a video. If you stick to the end of the video, I actually go over some photos that I took that the GoPro did not record initially because I was having some trouble with the GoPro cutting in and out, just like I am now. Um, but if you make it to the end of the video, I'll be going over a couple of those photos. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any video ideas, future video ideas, if you want have a question about photography or videography, I'm familiar with video too. Uh, if you have any questions, just shoot me a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. All these photos, some of these photos will be on my Instagram um, at 2121.vision. I just started it, so I don't have a lot of followers right now, so if you search it and you look it up and you see that I don't have any followers, don't dog on me just yet because I just started the Instagram. Uh, but yeah, here uh, we'll get right back into the point of view. Thank you for watching. Give me a comment, give me any video ideas, uh, shoot me a follow on Instagram, and uh, enjoy the point of view. <sighs> Alright, we are downtown Birmingham, Alabama. Um, I got my Duncan set. Shooting on the Sony A6000, I'm using a 28-200 f2.8 lens. Uh, the, the lighting is really harsh. Uh, there's no clouds in the sky, very blue, so hopefully we'll be able to get some cool um, shadows and stuff. So uh, let's uh, let's see what we can get. I don't really know where I'm parked, so I'm gonna have to take a picture of. Let's see, properties. All right.
So right now I'm shooting on aperture priority mode and the reason I shoot on aperture priority mode is because when I'm walking around I don't really want to be worrying about my settings and, and possibly miss a shot. So in aperture priority, the only thing that I have that I can control is the aperture. So I have it on 2.8 right now, and since I have uh, once I set the aperture, then the it'll automatically choose the ISO for me, and it'll automatically choose the right shutter speed. Um, unfortunately, the Sony A6000 does not have the minimum shutter speed setting which kind of stinks, but since it's really light outside, uh, there's not really any reason that the camera should have to slow the shutter speed down a whole lot because the lighting out here is pretty bright. So, like, I'm, like if I were to take a picture right now, it, the shutter speed is like at 500, 400 up, it gets all the way up to like a thousand, just because the lighting is so harsh. So, if it was dark out, it'd be different. Um, I'd probably have to shoot on manual or shutter speed and set that manually because I cannot set a minimum shutter speed so it'll probably slow that shutter down a whole lot but since it's light outside it's easy for me to shoot on aperture priority <clears throat>
minutes and see if a uh, train comes by.
here. I kind of like that. Having the sky cut out. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you. You want to see those photos I was talking about. So I'm going to go straight to them because I don't want my camera to cut out again. So this first photo I took, it's actually the same building of the last photo in the video. All I did was take a picture of the side of the building and I actually tilted my camera at an angle to kind of get this cool diagonal look. So it looks like the building is, is, is slanted like that, which I thought it was pretty cool. The second photo is of this building with the windows were like the mirror like the window panes were kind of like that mirror kind of window, I don't know what those are called, but you can actually see uh, in one of the offices, you could actually see there was a light on, and so I zoomed in on that section of the window, and I thought that that was kind of cool. Uh, this, these next three photos I took of this guy pressure washing a building. The third photo of these is my favorite because I went on this, I crossed the street and I went on the same sidewalk that he was on. So I was shooting him down the sidewalk and I zoomed out and I got a reflection on the right side in the building you can see on that right side and then actually on the bottom um, on the sidewalk you can kind of get a reflection of the water so I thought that that turned out pretty cool too. And then this last photo I took of this building and this puddle on the side of the street and I thought it turned out pretty cool because I like how the building goes all the way to the bottom of the screen. Um, and then I added a vignette at the bottom too, so it kind of looks like um, the building disappears into the bottom of the image. And I thought that that turned out pretty cool. But yeah, those are some of the photos that I took uh, that my GoPro did not record. Um, unfortunately, I don't know why. I'm going to have to figure that out. But yeah, if you made it to the end, thank you. Um, like I said, uh, give me a comment if you have any uh, photography or video ideas that you want to see. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Boom. We did it.
We made it all the way through. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, this is my phone.